Good morning, Pastor Keith Hodges here, and I want to welcome you to the Fruitful Five, five minutes that will empower and equip you to live a fruitful life for Jesus Christ. Today I want to start something new that we're going to do on the Fruitful Five. Every Friday, I want to begin to share with you really just a law of leadership. When you think about uh, Christianity and what God has called us to do, one of the most significant things that we need in our lives is leaders. Uh, I heard a testimony several years ago, actually, uh, from a satanic priest. It kind of shocked me. A Christian ministry was interviewing around Halloween a, uh, a satanic high priest, and they were asking him different questions. And one of the questions that they asked him was simply this. They said, sir, uh, how important is it that the satanic church <clears throat> really attract youth? And the gentleman made this statement. He said, well, he said, of course, we love to reach young people. He said, but the satanic church is not really looking for youth. He says, because most youth are followers. He said, what the satanic church is looking for is we're looking for leaders. If the satanic church is looking for leaders, how much more should the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, how much more should the body of Christ be raising up leaders? And I would just encourage you today that God has called you to be a leader. God has called you to be an individual of influence because leadership is really influence. And so I want to challenge you on Fridays. I want to give you a word of encouragement every Friday uh, on basically what I'm just going to call one of the laws of leadership. And I'm going to try to encourage you in different areas and really just bring to your mind some challenging thoughts that's going to help you really evaluate how you're living your life. Because if we're going to impact our world for Jesus Christ, if we're going to see this world saved, if we're going to see an end time revival, if we're going to be a part of the final harvest that we all believe that God is going to bring on this earth before Jesus returns, then I believe with all my heart we've got to step up in the area of leadership. We've got to begin to move in the arena that God has called us to, and we've got to begin to expand the influence of the kingdom of God. In Romans chapter 13, uh, the Bible in verse 7 gives this, this great scripture. It says, Render therefore to all their due, taxes to whom taxes are due, customs to whom customs are due, fear to whom fear is due. And then the last part of it says, Render honor to whom honor is due. And I want to talk to you today about the law of respect. The law of respect, because if we're going to be influential people in our world, we're going to have to gain respect. And really the, the first element of the law of respect is recognizing that respect is not necessarily given. Respect is earned. We've got to earn respect. We've got to earn respect from the people around us. We've got to earn respect from people in the church and outside the church so that we can begin to influence the world for Jesus Christ. And so how do we do that? Well, the Bible says we are to give honor to whom honor is due. Galatians teaches us that whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. So I want you to think about that. The law of sowing and reaping says that what I sow into other people's lives is what I reap. So the first step to the law of respect, the first step to me and you really gaining respect, gaining honor in our community so that we can begin to have influence and begin to become movers and shakers, uh, not just in the body of Christ, but in the culture in which the body of Christ has been called to function, then we're going to have to gain respect. So how do I do that? I give respect. I'm going to reap what I sow. So I've got to give honor to whom honor is due. And one of the most important things you can do as a leader is that you can begin to honor the people that are around you and show honor to all people. Uh, I have a habit that I got into many years ago that when I'm talking to anyone, I, I say, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. It doesn't matter if it's a sixth grade boy or if it's an 80-year-old man. And I was recently uh, mentoring a young boy in our youth group, and we were spending a little time together. Uh, and I said, yes, sir, to him. And he said, why did you say yes, sir, to me? And I said, well, I said, the reason I said yes, sir, to you, I said, is because I want to show you respect. And the reason I want to show you respect is, number one, because God created you in his image and you deserve to be respected. I said, number two, I want to be respected and I want to be able to influence your life and help you grow in your relationship with God. I said, so one of the most simplest ways that I can gain respect and earn the respect of other people as I can show respect to all people. My dad taught me when I was very young that no matter who a person is, no matter what they have, no matter, no matter how much money they have or how much money they don't have, no matter how they are respected by the community or disrespected by the community, my dad taught me that no matter who a person is, because they were created in the image and likeness of God, they deserve respect. 
And so the first law of leadership that I want to talk to you about today is the law of respect. And we give honor to whom honor is due. And everybody that was created in the image of God deserves to be honored and respected for who they are and who they were created to be like. And when we give honor, we begin to receive honor. And we begin to rise up and raise our element of influence as we begin to make a difference in the world. God bless you this morning. Have a great day in the Lord.